Okay, so I thought I'd do this video on um, productivity in VR, right? So the obvious thing is like, or spatial compute. What, what with the Apple Vision Pro going on about it's not for games, um, you know, it's for it's for work. Um, I mean, there's a whole, I mean, there's a whole raft of programs aimed at, in VR aimed at doing at making stuff, and the obvious one being 3D, right? So um, there used to be this plugin. Uh, made by this uh, Murai, um, Murai, I have you said, um, and it, they had made a plugin for both uh, Blender and, and Maya, and you can see the Maya one in the background. Um, they stopped it on the Blender one, and I, I used it, and it's it's not it's not great, unfortunately. Um, so I could understand them wanting to focus their efforts on one platform um but they get they do have it up on github so you can go and get it from github um but the one so someone else has taken over the mantle and that's this uh freebird xr and it's really good if you look at the documentation this is all the stuff it can do um it can actually do quite a lot um so even like uh you know moving stuff like that um, but yeah, I, I, I'm going to launch it. Um, but have go go and have a look. Um, download it, install it. But you need the you've got to make sure the the VR add-on is installed first. I think, um, and it only I think it only works on three point six. I tried it on four. I couldn't seem to get it to work on four. You need to um, I, it might be yeah. Anyway, I, I got it working on three point six. So. Um, and you need, and I'm using Steam Link and the and the Quest Two. Um, so you need Steam running on your PC and your Quest on the same wireless network and run the Steam Link app. Um, and that then it should all work, right? So, um, and also on a slight side note, there's um, I was trying to get OBS to work, um, and there's a plugin for OpenVR, so so I can do this and actually show you that I'm doing it. Where's it? switch it off it's actually all, all in vr anyway and it's quite useful okay i hope it doesn't make you motion sick i'll try my best to keep my head still <laughs> um but the cool thing about um steam vr is you can you can pin the, the the display and then that will appear in the application so let's go to um minimize that and go to blender here's blender um and we can go right start the vr session and you'll see it all goes black um, so if we go like that, there we go. We're in in Blender. I don't know if it's a bit wonky. I think I've okay. Yeah. So you've got the uh, two grips for um, scaling and moving and stuff. Um, there isn't any walk as far as um, as far as I know. Um, uh, oh yeah, you've got the. So the cool thing is you can actually I wonder if the space navigator works. It'd be interesting to see if it if it works. Oh yeah, that all seems to work as well. Um whoops. So um get a bit closer. Um and I'll move this the Steam VR window out of the way. Um toggle float in world. There we go. There we can. It's a bit massive. We can make it a bit smaller. Okay, that's a bit more. Not too small because we want to be able to use it still. Uh, okay, great. So there we go. Got the two things there. And then we can go, it's got edit mode. So with the other one, we can go like that. There you go. So let's, you can, you know, you can either use the mouse. The mouse actually does. Got laser pointer here, you see, which is kind of cool. You switch. There's um, but I'm just gonna stick with the um on the. So we have select um and erase. I'll get rid of that, presumably. There we go. Um, yeah, I wish the. I guess he's still working on things, but um, oh yeah, got undo redo. Um, and then what's this one? Raise shape so we can add a primitive monkey. Oh, there we go. 
Um, and then we can go select. Um, still getting used to it, really. Um, pen, oh yeah, you can do stuff like this, like uh, gravity sketch. Um, yeah, I'm pretty impressed for, you know, the whole someone doing it in their spare time, I guess. I guess they hope to sell it at some point, but um, um, just trying to figure out what the trigger is, the trigger select. Yeah, so you've got grab, is grab. Oh, you can just do it. Okay, that's cool. Oh, that's, oh, that's really good. You just grab stuff. That actually suddenly makes this... Yeah, so just using the the grab button on the Quest controller, on one on its own, on your right hand, moves stuff. You can select stuff directly. Um, so, yeah. So that's it, really. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep try and keep these short because uh, I, basically I want to go through the whole... Um, Oh, that's because we're in edit mode here, right? So you can grab. But yeah, I mean, I'm really impressed. Um, this is actually quite usable, I think. For um, you know, if you're doing architectural stuff and um, you want to see what it's like actually inside the building, I mean, the next one I'm going to go on to is um, a VR Sketch, uh, which is like a SketchUp uh, extension that gets um, allows you to do stuff in Steam VR. But this is like this is really good actually. Um, I mean, you can see me doing stuff. I could do, you know, uh, let's go change stuff here, you know, and I can see it all here, or I can do it in here, you know. It's so that's pretty cool. And like I say, my preference is Steam VR over the Oculus because you can pin your displays, so you can have reference and be in the sculpting program or, or you know, Spotify or whatever web page up. Um, so that's it, really. I hope this hasn't made you too sick with the me uh, fumbling around. Um, I'm going to stop the video now. So let's see if we can do that. Stop the video.